Hey love, so it's been a long minute since I've done one of these videos. I haven't really done a live recording of me actually doing an illustration and I haven't done a free handed illustration in a long time because once again, you guys already know I've been working on commissions or those who do know me know that I've been working on commissions. So it's been really rough trying to find the time to actually just sit down and draw free-handed just to loosen up my arm a little bit so fun fact we were actually on our way to a church service which is why it's so dark and my hand looks like a silhouette for the majority of this video it's because i was in the car so i was actually challenging my hand stability during this process or at least for the beginning part because these car rides are not smooth <laughs> i was shaking the camera was shaking everywhere but Needless to say, I think I did a pretty good job with the beginning sketches and the finalized sketches for this part. Just like making the outlines, finalizing, everything like that. I was just going with the flow. I had literally no idea what I was doing or what I really wanted the picture to consist of. All I knew is that I wanted to draw the back of some girl's hair, make nice, luscious, long, thick, beautiful twists, and I wanted clouds. That's what I knew I, what I wanted to do, and that's just pretty much how it was going. So as you guys can see now, I'm filling it in. As a graphic designer, there are some times when we take the long way to do things just simply because it's satisfying and not because it's the smartest thing to do because I honestly could have just dragged and dropped the color for this whole entire background. But instead, I decided to take 45 seconds to a minute to fill up the space instead. And now I'm just doing the clouds. And I'll show you what I mean by drag and drop in a second because I'm about to do it. But it's so ironic how I drag and drop for the smallest space. <laughs> but I just spent a lot of time sketching in the biggest part of the backdrop. Anyways, continuing on. I am still filling in the clouds i have like this love love relationship with my beginning sketches and i have a hard time letting them go so as you can see like those very thin lines that was like my first 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 sketch of everything and i did take it away but then it just looked so empty so i decided to put them back and for those of you guys who do know my styling and my artistic style y'all should know by now that i love my lines and i just love having that sort of like flick of the wrist type style so the lines really don't bother me which you guys will probably see in a lot of the work that i hope to post lord's willing this year i really just need to get back into just posting like i just need to just draw in color and just post for you guys to see it because i stopped doing that and i just think it's because i've been so busy and just so stressed but this is one of the things that i love to do and if it brings a smile to somebody's face I'm more than happy to do it. If it inspires somebody, I'm more than happy to do it. And it makes me happy and content. So you bet I'm more than happy to do it. All right, so this part can be a little um, tedious, but that's why we have time lapse. So a lot of this is time lapse, but it did take me quite a while to um, go over some because I'm not filling in every single inch. As you can see, there are gaps in her hair, which is why I couldn't just drag and drop. Um, and I'm doing the first layer of the highlights. So these are going to be um, the lighter tones of her hair. But of course, I do have to go back in and add the highlights of her hair, the darker shadows of her hair, and then also the textured hair strands of her hair. Yay, so fun. It really is, though. It is relaxing, honestly, at the end of the day. And we're coming to a close, but here's how it was, and here's how it's looking, so stay tuned if you want to see more.